Even if I keep quiet and you see me, you know what happened over the weekend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, greatness. <laughs> I'm greatness personified. <laughs> the great Manchester United um, used tactical approach, which included um, uh, Fred being the AD camp wa KDB. But the end game, as Chitana likes saying, yani, results. Tulishina Man City, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Gituku is not yet uh, is not yet accepting of this beautiful fact he, he asked and i dare say who is manchester united this is a question that even pep was asking who is manchester united saying i i have different plans for my uh, some plans they're ridiculous you know it's a, it's a different plans for them and uh, we'll see when the game comes we saw <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me tell you, singa kwa na sauti. So allow me to allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy. Allow me, man. I want to angewa me to shine. I tuke kwa tawapu mu apa ivi. Ah, however, unfortunately, Arsenal in form. I must say, in form, Arsenal uh, did the thing. The uh, boys who are playing uh, well. Um, don't worry, you are shocked that I can talk about Arsenal. Well, yes, I told you I've been practicing my gag reflex so that when I talk about Arsenal, I don't vomit. So every time I have to practice. Uh, but uh, they're doing well. We cannot deny you and I to Ezi Kata. Kama kitu ni mzuri ni mzuri. Mzuri. Ni mzuri. Haya basi, siko peke yangu wapa their fellow Manchester Arsenal. And yes, ni just today everybody's a winner. Kila mtu hapa lewa na smile. Ni vile tu gituku hakuwa kwa ipanel. Angewa gituku na Jay Bonyo are the two prominent uh, Man City fans that I know of. Uh, so the army of two. Formerly Hassan. Yes, for they will congregate somewhere along this uh, nini. So what were Mogileo scripts in Kichalewa? Jiwebonyo is money. But at least Sam showed you quite exemplary that you can work even after failure. <laughs> yeah, he showed up in the morning, he did the thing. Hiya! How are you? Sit down, Kosawa? You're doing well? It's a beautiful morning. Yes. Very beautiful morning. But I don't know why Arsenal are, are really, really are celebrating this because mm -hmm. where's the bike you wanna um uh Simba Mia Migu is a new mazote, yes. very strong one. Yes, hind feet. Yes. Mm. Alafu nakuja celebration. How can you celebrate when you've you've won again it's someone who is limping? Yes. Yes. Mutu ametoka I see you juice. Yes. Mutu ametoka I see you juice yeah pata tam pira vizuri kwa mgue, then you're celebrating. Anyway, that was a luck. I think we start <laughs> we start we start from next next this week like actually on Saturday Where? to see to test the waters of them yeah. they are ready to, to to actually yes because from there they they face Musurur yes yes yeah. uh, we shall see we shall see uh, Stephen Shitera the prophet also um, Stephen was here on this seat and said it is possible uh, my temporarily taking it over from uh, from Prophet Arocho. <laughs> but uh, it was very clear. It was very clear that um, uh, something is missing at Manchester City, in as much as they are having a top scorer in the name of Haaland. But again, uh, Manchester United applied their tactics, and it worked. Again, I want to give the same advice to Manchester United: go back, watch the game between Arsenal and Newcastle apply some new tactics on what Newcastle uh, did to get a draw against Arsenal. That game, the worst you can do uh, as Manchester United is a draw. Mm. All right. Tijan, before I go to Prophet Arojo. Tijan, first of all, welcome back. Asante sana. Karibu sana. Asante. Yes, sir. Yeah. Umona leo ni mesivu timi yako. Sija kwa na bias. And good, uh, good, good suit. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, we are, I told you, we have now shifted. We are in a different per capita. Yes. Yeah, we. <laughs> That's now the real autonomy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Sila is shocked. <laughs> shocked of what? That the suit is, is there. The yeah, suit, yeah. you are supporting us or not today? Ah, today is the day, it's 2023. Has no I part. said I will speak the truth. <laughs> yes, I will speak the truth in 2023. Mm -hmm. Unapologetically. <laughs> uh, good, congratulations. Uh, yes. uh, good win. Mm -hmm. I told uh, Kianda that United were going to nail a win, but he won't listen. Mm. He was... They say as proud as what? Peacock. Yes, yeah. that's how Kianda proud was. But yes. uh, anyway, 
Uh, that's eight wins on the bounce. I yes. think the last time you guys had us... Uh, was the days of Sir Alex Ferguson. Alex Ferguson. Yes. So that tells you how long you guys have suffered. We have been suffering. Yeah, but... Allow us. <laughs> uh, on the other side... Uh, he's, he's smiling uh, sheepishly. <laughs> Mudric, Mudric is in town. Yes. Mudric, which Mudric. is good for them. Mm -hmm. Wish them well. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a win against uh, Palace after long suffering. Again. We got a win yeah. again. We got a win against Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> against, <laughs> oh, oh, you see, we have a very long history with Shakhtar Donetsk. Yeah. Uh, you remember? Which, which Arsenal are you talking about? You, uh, let, me, let me give you some background information yeah, on the relationship you. between Chelsea and, and Shakhtar. Shakhtar. Mm -hmm. Remember William? Yeah, William. I, uh, when he was I, coming, uh, you see, it is the same city, London, uh -huh. but now the metro, <laughs> instead of <laughs> metro this way, <laughs> metro this way, metro that way. <laughs> that is how we okay. got it. Uh, I, I know, I know Bole. it's painful, uh, but again, he mutazoya. Hey, you can't tell anyone at all. We're okay. 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 we yeah. As Manchester United. Yeah. Yes. But it's okay. Things are looking good. Uh, Fred Arocho. Yes. How are you doing? <clears throat> I'm fine. Yes. In fact, I think on the set, mm -hmm. uh, I celebrate more. Mm -hmm. uh, I started my celebration uh, from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vice versa. KCB picked another point mm -hmm. against... Uh, How many points? K-Sharks. No, three points. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, it's about each and every match. So after picking my three points in Nairobi, I, I picked another points in uh, <laughs> in United Manchester. Mm -hmm. And uh, for for me, I think that Which you are not so sure. Yes, in fact, that is the only um, prediction that didn't go my way. Yeah. Uh, I said that Arsenal is going to win against uh, Tottenham. Tottenham, and that one was quite obvious for anybody who knows what football is all about. Mm -hmm. That one was quite eminent. But once again, congratulations to. Manchester United. I, I think they overdid themselves that particular match. Though there are few questions about certain decisions mm. which could have been the turning point uh, for, for the game. For that game, right? I think the, the referee was quite quite um, generous to Manchester United. There are very few <laughs> points that, for me, could have changed that match. But all said and congratulations to Manchester. <laughs> We're going to be here. But you see, but you see uh, Manchester City, the team that is, should not be crying of uh, uh, VAR decisions. They should have scored four goals. I don't think they would have been complaining. Manchester City were tactically. They're not complaining. Manchester City is not. No, 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 no. Uh, Pep. Pep raised some issues, mm -hmm. yeah. Personally, I uh, picked some you, certain points. You, you have also picked some uh, issue with that game. But if they convincingly won or scored clear goals, 4-1, mm. I don't think uh, there will be a debate. There is a problem at Manchester City. Maybe, let, us not, let, us not hide, let us not hide behind the... Maybe VR. it is just that what we are going to do is which I think yes. is a problem that if this yes, Arsenal were in the lake, Kuku... The same squad, same squad, same squad, same squad. Ah, yeah. You forget now, that win, ah, yeah. uh, Raburu <laughs> and uh, lady and gentlemen, yes. that win for me was baptism of fire to Arsenal. Mm. Because by the time Arsenal is going to play Man City, surely. Manchester United first. No, no, no. Manchester by the first, time, and then when is it? By the time yeah. Arsenal is, get my white right, my words right. By the time Arsenal is going to play Man City, Man City is going to be a very, very wounded lion. Very wounded. And I, I don't think that uh, Switzerland team the, would like to meet Man City. When they're wounded. Quite wounded. All right. Well, we want to begin, we want to begin uh, <laughs> Upper Ivy Nyumbani. We are there. We have, we have, literally, we were told that we are in the bottom. And there's nowhere we can go. Mm. Um, the only way to go is up. Yes. Um, we have seen visits to certain stadiums. And now, alas... This has been something that has been talked about in quiet corridors. You know, people always say, hey, like in EKPL, EKPL, in the Mambo. Now, here comes a statement uh, by um, FKF to kind of back up. Ma and we talk about match fixing, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, before we, we talk about the contents of that letter, 
we have our editorial by one Tijan Isaac Swiller. Take it away. Thank you, Raboru. That much fixing has permeated the heart and soul of the beautiful game we so dearly love, football, is not in doubt. What makes matters different is that the football authorities have now come out to admit that this is a major problem. Their admission and attempts to address the vice is, however, belated, as much fixing has eaten into the game for close to three, four, or five years, soiling the credibility of some of our footballers, the clubs, age group teams, and the image of Kenyan football at large. Little wonder when FKF last week released a statement signed by its General Secretary, Barry Otieno, announcing the provisional suspension of 15 persons, coaches, active and former footballers over alleged involvement in match fixing, it was greeted with muted response. Ladies and gentlemen, in functional systems where integrity is cherished, this should have triggered torrents of anger and calls for speedy, deep investigation. That is, however, lacking in a country where integrity and, moral, and morality are no longer virtues. However, here at Sporty Monday, we call for a new order of doing things in this calendar year. The pedestrian approach we have employed in running our sports should take a back seat, and FKF must not just be seen to issue letters. Their statement must be followed by deep, credible investigations that should involve the global football body FIFA and our national crime investigative agencies and perpetrators brought to book. Football belongs to all of us, and we must weed out the rotten elements from our game for the sake of this nation and the aspiring footballers. Welcome to Sporty Monday. My name is Isaac Swiller. This show begins now. Raburu. All right, well, the you member will quite part of the match fixing debacle. It is something that, um, well, it's, uh, it, it paints quite a, a, a grim picture of uh, where we are. When we, we thought we were at some certain level, but now it looks like we are further back than we thought. But again, the people have been mentioned there. Um, I don't know. Uh, we start with the, uh, Arocho. Yep. What do you think about the, uh, the, the way it was done? My, my, my response is, uh, I look at it uh, from two angles. One, I think time has come that uh, us in the football fraternity should lobby um, our legislators to come up with the legislation. The reason why I'm saying so is that look at the first gentleman that is mentioned there, Willis Ocheng Ogeyo. Willis <coughs> was suspended, was even um, kept off the game about 10, 20, uh, 15 years ago in Finland. This gentleman was alleged to have, uh, and in fact it, he went through the process, to have fixed some match and earned about six million. Uh, from that match Thanks. in Finland when he was playing football in Finland. What did we do as a country? We welcomed him back and for me the, 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 the problem We encouraged that problem problem. We have to have legislation The other day there was that Ugandan who was arrested mm -hmm. What happened? There is no law to prosecute match fixing in this country as a fraternity, we must lobby our legislators to make sure that we have law. Because even if, Ar if Arocho is, is arrested, how do you deal with Arocho, other than perhaps stoning him? Legally, there is no framework that is going to support prosecution of guys uh, who have, have, have been alleged to uh, participated in, in match fixing. The only thing you can do is to suspend them or to kick them out of the game. Now, the other side is, I think, I hope the Federation have done some due, due process. Because the moment you mention me in such a statement, you have to make sure that you have tangible evidence and give me some hearing. Mm. Regardless of what you have against me, <laughs> the rule of law dictates that you have to give me a hearing. A right of reply. You sorry. have to give me, take me through some process so that whatever happens, uh, there is some due process. But once again, I'm pleading to our legislators. I'm pleading to Football Kenya. I'm pleading to the entire fraternity. Let us lobby our legislators to have a law that will prosecute this manners. Um, uh, as I add on what Arusha is saying, in 2020, there were like five players who were banned because of their um, match fixing, and one was banned for life. And another, almost five or four uh, referees were suspended. 
And if you check those people who are suspended, maybe in the referees, I think uh, some of them maybe they are they are now <coughs> doing like working in uh, in in the, in the FKF. Like that is um, they're still they're still they're still they're still working actually. Right. So what? Why are you telling me you're giving out names and you're giving out names and the last names that you, you gave out in 2022 nothing 2020 nothing happened. So what are you going to do now? Mm. That is the question. What's, that the, what's the next? To, yeah, what's yeah. the next space of this? Right. Because you're giving us names. Yes, we have names now. In the end of after five or two years, we will see them back, mm. working with what with our footballers and everything. So what what is the next phase mm. of after this? Mm. Shtera, what do you think about? Uh, of course, match fixing in itself is is a crime, but uh, you know the legislation and the the what has been you know the the situation back back then. Looks like nothing is done. I think there is a very big uh, uh, difference uh, in terms of uh, football management because you see even uh, cases that um, are related to sports, they have a special tribunal to handle it, right. uh, both uh, in Kenya and at uh, the world governing body FIFA. Uh, you have to go through that sports tribunal. Uh, for your matters to be handled. <laughs> and I think uh, that's, that is the direction that uh, we really need to take. But in football, uh, in most cases, uh, uh, the punishment is that suspension or your band. Uh, the, 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 we are just coming from a FIFA suspension. Mm. Uh, when you commit a football crime, uh, what you will get as a punishment is you are either fined or banned, banned or suspended. And uh, probably maybe it's a culture, as Arocho said, that uh, might be looked into, but we will have to bring FIFA on board because anything we do uh, that is outside uh, the FIFA statute, I think now will mess uh, the whole thing. Because, because but, this again, person, uh -huh. but again, match fixing has been a problem. Yeah. Uh, it's not a new thing in Kenya. It has happened, as uh, Zita has said, uh, what happened to uh, those fellas that were suspended. But with the regime change, uh, you'll see that most of these people are forgiven mm -hmm. and they come back uh, to the same mess uh, that they had orchestrated earlier. But ideally, so I think before, hold on, before, I, did, I think what we are saying is also, so what we are saying, if I can get all of you right, and before we go to Swila, ideally Mutumanyame participate in match fixing, mm -hmm. if they are credible laws, should not be now working at a certain NGO or a corporate, mm -hmm. so because their credibility is already in question. But, but, should but, be on their but, record permanently, but as, if as, they are found guilty. Yes, as Arocho say, in football there is no process to, right. to, to, to judge you. Right. You are only punished through suspension as, as uh, it, it has happened. Right. And what, what I'm saying, uh, there's no tangible um, uh, record that will deny you a job somewhere else. You might have committed a football crime. So, you can have a certificate of good conduct. You can have a certificate of good conduct. You have right. never been sentenced. And uh, so, in Kenya, we are governed by the rule of law. And the rule of law uh, have dictates. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if football decides that this is our way of doing things, I don't think it affects uh, how you yeah. should work as a professional. Probably you are an engineer but you are a footballer, you have, you have committed a football crime, you have been suspended from FKF, but by FKF, but in your other world as an engineer, you saw. can work. Right. Yeah, it's so good. that is what Arocho so, is saying, that let it be uh, considered as a crime in law. Right. You can be taken through a judicial process and a verdict given on, uh, on uh, your crime that will Not be to recorded. Not the docks. Yes, will be recorded nationally that we will right. commit a crime na umefungwa miaka sita hufai ku hold a public office right. but that is not happening i think that is where uh, we have some deficiencies with fifa because look at it this way uh, uh, i'm insulated as an, a, a, a member of, of fifa i can commit uh, crimes protected by fifa if there is uh, intrusion by government you suspend the whole country because of an individual, an individual. you see? <laughs> so I think FIFA also needs to uh, improve on their uh, statutes that I think were generated uh, many, many years back. Yeah. Uh, to so, ac uh, incorporate their activities, mm -hmm. of course, with what uh, the 
constitution in member countries uh, uh, say. Yeah. So I think uh, Sule also talked about um, a new order of doing things. Is this some of the things that, you're so, that, that you think will help us out? Because mm -hmm. now it looks like I couldn't to First, of all, yeah. First yeah. of all, for me, uh, this statement points to one thing, mm. not on the federation, not as footballers, but we as a country. Yeah? And this is why I said it talks to the soul of humanity. And it sums who we are as a country. And this is what? Lack of ethos. As a country, we don't have ethos anymore. Yes. Yes. Everyone, <coughs> look at parliament, look at our schools. We've permeated a culture of <coughs> get rich quick. We glorify wealth. So no matter how it's gotten. The, 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 the approach maybe somebody used to, to get that, that. We've seen it even in newspapers articles where we glorify how Arocho made billions at a tender age. But on the other way, if you do due diligence, you find out he <laughs> was He was prosecuted. Yeah? I'm just giving you that example. No, no, no problem. It doesn't mean it's problem. Yeah. So uh, as a country, we lack ethos. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. If we were in a country where systems work, mm. where there's the respect for rule of law, there should have been anger outrightly, demanding for accountability, demanding for justice, demanding that we go to the bottom of this. That's not, it's business as usual. It's just, it's just normal. It's okay, there's much fixing, so what? Mm. You see? And we see it in all sectors in this country. Go to the medics, go to hospitals. We've had this misdiagnosis. We've had doctors refusing to treat patients because they can't bo pay 200,000. Botched circumcisions. All that. And doctors are but walking we are so free. much okay. We see our politicians walk to our TV studios in political rallies. But they, this doesn't prick their conscience. That, to me, is a concern. As a country, we've let down our guard. We don't have any ethos. There's no humanity. And that's where the rain is beating us. Because this is not something new. The last five years, we've seen it. We, mm -hmm. we had the case at uh, Kakamega Homeboys. We saw the case uh, Zuke Richard, at Western Steamer, yeah, Western Steamer. at uh, Jobita said. What became of that investigation? So it has been there. No one has really cared to go deep and dig. And I like what Arocho said. Right now, probably, what CS Namwamba should have been discussing, because now match fixing is a cancer in football. Mm -hmm. Doping is a cancer, cancer in, in athletics. athletics. The last time he was forced to do lobbying so that we are not banned by, by world athletics, and that's where we are heading. But if we don't address this, it's not you and me. These players who are playing their football right now, they can't take us anywhere. In as far as challenging for World Cup tickets or AFCON, they can't take us anywhere. That's the painful truth. But now we need to focus on those young boys, the 10, 12, 14, 15. So what kind of future are we going to give them as far as the beautiful game is concerned? Mm -hmm. If we can fix our matches, things go on as usual, then we bury our heads in the, hand, uh, in the sand, assume nothing is happening. That's where we've lost it as a nation. Mm -hmm. And no matter how hard they work, our football can't make strides when we have such cases in our league. Mm -hmm. No credible sponsor will come into yeah. a game with such kind of cases. True. Mm -hmm. It has been discussed, as you said, in uh, harsh tones. Right. But now the federation has come out and said, guys, this is happening. These gentlemen, we think they have a case to answer. But as Arocho said, we hope Barry Tin and the federation are going to follow through this. We can see this gentleman given a right of reply. We want to see tangible proof. Probably they need to tell us some of this money. How, that they feel when, yes, in the matches. Compromise. Right. How are this money exchanging hands? And President Eli Kalek of Spopaka did mention it some time back. So it has been happening. But it's a shame that the, 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 the industry, the stakeholders, do not want to confront this. By, by mentioning these uh, uh, names, how many are they? 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Um, and if they're involved in certain games, <laughs> and I don't know what now what happens, because if those games say, well, I don't know, last season maybe, mm -hmm. Probably. and we already have a champion, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the margins were last time, but on some, some close games, one or two games, if we have 15 people, and let's say, let's, I don't know what the case is because they haven't told us, but what if there were 15 games? Sadly, Arocho so will they... tell you, sorry, <laughs> that, Arocho will tell you, he sits in a committee that picked the so-called player of the season 
and one of those beneficiaries is, is that one of is that is there. So, yeah. that so that's what I'm saying. So will it affect so outcomes? No, 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 Okay. It's, not, it's not necessarily what happened. Uh, this is a in serial Nigeria, match so. fixer. This is something that has been happening. I think they've been doing the investigation. Right. Because if you look at the names, there are several uh, names from the lower leagues. It's not only the in the right. Premier League. You can see Silhouette. Mm. Uh, you can see um, Demonde Selenge, uh, who is the head coach of Kericho FC. But coming back to, uh, to, to my point, uh, I, I think um, somehow we are missing it. Uh, FKF and FIFA, they cannot prosecute. They don't have that. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, they, they don't have the instruments to, to, to prosecute. And that's why I'm talking about legislation. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> the other point here is uh, it's not just the games that, uh, f for example, when you're saying that it was in the Premier League, this thing is deeply rooted. Uh, going by, I did some research on Willis. What happened in Such Finland? A mm. Beautiful name. What right? happened in in, in, in <laughs> Finland? Crazy. They don't just m fix the match that is in question. It's in question, yeah. No, no, no. They fix even matches that are not in question. To favor. In the sense that, I make sure that you don't win your match if there are two teams that are are, are, are competing for perhaps a championship. Team A, will, they make sure that he doesn't win. And Team B, on the other side, the one that is chasing, also doesn't win. So that's why I'm saying that it's not easy, perhaps, to pick particular certain matches, games. certain okay. games. Uh, so you cannot nullify uh, whatever that had happened last season or the previous season. But once again, it's legislation. The moment we have legislation, uh, what um, FKF has done is just to start the conversation. And that is in their place, to start the conversation. Once the conversation is on, um, the law should come in. And because they don't have legislation to support a prosecution, that's why we, we fail. Once again, I'll mention what happened in Kisumu. Somebody was arrested. There was evidence. The, the players came and, uh, and, and, and confessed that this guy was trying to influence mm -hmm. the match. But where is the law? The police officer, the OCS in that uh, uh, police station, just asked, is there any law? How are we going to take him to court? Because this is a case that will collapse on arrival. So once again, any, every other thing uh, in consideration, we must have a law. That will stipulate that if Fred Arrocho is convicted, Fred Arrocho will see jail for eight years or a fine of two million. Basically, that's what I'm talking about. And our legislators must sit and discuss because where else do we get the legislation? It is in our parliament. But again, but again that should go hand in hand uh, with FIFA statute because if you are jailed or you are fined, then fine, you can pay your eight million fine and then come back. Wait, she tell so, it has so, nothing. Wait, sorry, sorry. So, so, it has nothing to do with FIFA. I, I think that's why we are missing. Wait, it. wait, wait. You have not understood my point. My point is, if I'm found guilty, yeah. Uh, uh, let's say cons uh, in the rule of law, let's uh, uh, we give an example of Kenya. I'm found guilty of match fixing. Uh, there are laws in place to prosecute me. I've been given an option of a jail time of probably two years and a fine of three million. Then I opt to pay the fine. Then I'm out, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Then I go back to football. Mm -hmm. So it should go you hand. You cannot go back. Wait, it should go hand in hand because at the moment, we are saying that uh, it is wrong that uh, FKF has suspended. And at the same time, we are saying we need laws. That's why I'm saying the, legislator should, the legislation should not work alone. Isolation. Mm -hmm. It should not work in isolation. FIFA will not recognize that. Okay, before she responds, huh, there's a gentleman who was involved with Willis and some other player who was playing for Arambe Stars. Sure. I don't want to mention. I don't want to mention because perhaps of uh, the legal issues. You know the gentleman in, in, in Asia, is currently serving a jail term. Mm. The mastermind mm. yeah. is currently serving a seven year jail term. But what happens in Kenya? Okay. Because we don't have something to support. Yeah. Because in, in Asia where that guy was arrested, and in fact they even supplied Kenya with information the evidence. and evidence. We, act on. <coughs> we could not act on that evidence because you don't have legislation. So once I, okay, I, I understand what you're saying. 
But the bottom line, ladies and lady and gentlemen, and our viewers, and our viewers, we must have a law to prosecute this. Right. That's, right. That's right. Just mm -hmm. to give it context, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit off. But the same. You, you remember the case we had with Nick Mendwa and uh, Amina coming in and him stepping aside and FIFA slapping a suspension. Mm -hmm. Now, look at what happened in France last week, right? The Federation chief had to, to step down yes. after he made disparaging remarks uh, against Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine, Zidane, Zinedine, Zidane, Zinedine, Zidane right? and, uh, yeah. and executive Benzema. committee met and uh, they were wondering why has uh, the FA chief handed uh, coach uh, Deschamps uh, seven, is it six year contract running up to 2026, right? And he said if, if, if Zidane was even to call me, I won't pick his call. And the French uh, sports minister led uh, in making calls to him that he has to step down. We are going to do audits of that uh, federation. And right now, the federation chief has stepped down. We haven't had FIFA uh, interfering. The, yes, the demands to the French government that yes. this football interference. Double speak. Last week again, uh, FIFA president Gianni Infantino faced uh, the Swiss prosecutors. They're investigating a case. This is the, 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 uh, the uh, FIFA president. And even where FIFA operates in Switzerland, they are guided. They operate within the armpits of the Swiss law. However, if you come to African countries, Kenya and the likes, FIFA is so quick at uh, uh, pronouncing itself. Pronouncing itself. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, something to 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 ponder over even as we go into the next topic. But here's a point. These rules, uh, these rules actually must be domesticated. They can't work in isolation. But at the same time, as Arocho says, it's a wake-up call for parliamentarians and probably Ababu Namwamba. It's high time in the sports committee. Lobbying. Yes, so that we have this. Has quite his, uh, uh, his uh, I just want to touch on something about the clubs. Like, if you see on the list that um, that is there, uh, Zoo FC had like almost six players. Six players were from Zoo FC, and then the club was uh, taken back to NSL. What are the actions that are supposed to be taken to the club? And then the next thing is, you've seen this club has been told you're, you, there, there's a lot of match fixing in your club. And a club, top club like um, Tasca FC, go and sign this player from? Zoo. From Zoo. <laughs> the city, city, is it City Star? Yeah. Go and sign player from Zoo. The player that is in the, he's in the list, all of them, they're going to play in the top league. Like, how do you make such decision knowing that this club has been it's, are taken it's down under to investigation. It's under investigation. And the other clubs that you know this club is under investigation, you're going to sign the same same players that are on the list to the top clubs. Right. I also want to throw something at FKF. I also want to throw something at the FKF. We have, we have discussed on one side. Right. On this other side, Arocho had a very serious discussion last season where referees were not paid. Right. You see, if you don't give me a good working environment, I'll be vulnerable to such attempts. So even as FKF issues uh, orders yes. uh, to uh, punish the offenders, they should also create a good environment where uh, football will thrive. Because if you don't pay a referee for eight months, he's a father, he's a husband, uh, or a wife, uh, a mother, uh, what do you want that uh, person to, to do, as you say? It's true. There are so many mouths. There are so many ni, mouth. ni sawa sawa na kulima watu wa production lunch. Aya, watu watu singie mingi sana. Sasa tuendele, hapa wa kwenye match fixing, eh, it's something that definitely, and let me tell you what, the, I have been in this panel for a while. Uh, if you have hopes that we will keep quiet about it, we will not. We will keep on pressing and pressing until we see uh, a change that is done, because I believe that's, what should be done. This is people's lives at stake. Um, good news for Arocho's team in the KPL who had quite an event. <laughs> quite an event. They won the... the no, no. no, no, no. They, they, they won... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah. ah, there was something. No. They won Karyobangi Sharks. <laughs> Uh, KCB won Karibani Sharks. Gore also <laughs> defeated Homeboys. Wazito. Uh, Leopards, however, on the other hand, Wali. Wali. Shikwa na wale Wazito wale. Ikakoa ni noma. Uh, what do you think about the, the games over there? Uh, we'll allow Arocho to start. Thank you. Allow <laughs> well, Arocho to start. Well, uh, uh, kudos once again. There's a team that we've not mentioned here for some time. Mm. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, steady progression. That is Police FC. Police, yes. Sorry, they Police FC uh, did something that uh, needs to be 
commended. Right. They de they, they they made a they, they, they made a very it was might not have been a popular a decision bringing a new coach mid through the season, but you can see some results. There's a lot of order, and I think what really propels um, Police FC is the leadership. Guys, in, in, in sports, as much as you've been having good players, that is uh, Chelsea, they're having very good players, but I think leadership is lacking. But at Police FC, the leadership has shown that decisions made at the right time can bring results. Look at their performance at the moment. Uh, it's one of the teams that is steadily moving up the log. And uh, once again, kudos. And they had a draw with of, the Orleans. Uh, yeah, Police FC. Coming back to my lovely, the beloved KCB. <laughs> um, we are getting our groove on. Uh, it, pole pole. Yeah, we are getting our groove on. And uh, kudos to uh, my coach. Uh, he's made some steady results coming in. Uh, the other result that I, I was not really impressed with, I think, no, I'm impressed with Gore. Gore did well beating uh, Homeboys. Mm. I think Homeboys is a, another pretender. To or, the throne. To the throne. <laughs> um, coming up and then there, you know. But Gore Maya put them at the rightful uh, place. Mm. I did the same, KCB. I put Gormaya at the rightful place uh, just two weeks ago. All said and done, the league is on. No, 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 guys, the coach. No, 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 not the coach. I, I, I speak on uh, behalf of Casey. Oh, my goodness. On behalf of Casey. Yes, you, uh, Shitera, should not be speaking about Kenyan football for FC Leopards. Because FC Leopards are now perennial losers. In your own words. <laughs> FC Leopards. In your own words. Mm. I'm a sympathizer. No, you're I not a sympathizer. You I sympathize subscribe, when they lose. I subscribe uh, to international standards. Ah, <laughs> but uh, what is your local team? FC Shitera? Leopards. What is your yeah? local team? Your local Which team, local? Again, I with FC Leopards. They lost four. The yeah. other day, they lost. And now they've lost two. As you can see, they lost two. They are no longer FC. in the in, the, in see, consideration. Talanta be a press, madar. Objectively speaking, KCB and uh, leopards, they're all in the same water. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> How? I How? I the pretenders to throw. I'll bite it, I'll yeah, bite Willis, it. Because thank that's you. the fact. Just thank hold you. on, Zita. <laughs> well, you have to withdraw that statement. No, 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 no. You, you, can't, you know why you have to withdraw? No, no. You, can't you withdraw. cannot listen, mention listen, a team like uh, FC that lost listen, four. Rocha, listen, Narocha, I'm making a very... Four and two. Uh, yeah. It's a very serious very point. Important. Yeah, proceed. KCB is only a team when we come to rugby. In football, they are pretenders to the throne. I speak, I, st I stick by that because <laughs> tell me, since they were formed, how old are they? Oh, what title have they won? Okay, let him give you, us the no, statistics. No, no, just hold on. You wait, that. Zita, just hold. I'm a same. Yeah. They are getting their groove. Thank you. Thank you. Want to <laughs> <challenge>. <laughs> want to Thank you. Uh, when was KCB You're... formed? How many coaches have they fired and hired? How many Even times? Players, how many they times they have they been relegated? relegated? Yeah. <laughs> Even when Gore was <laughs> the lowest. Even when they didn't have money. So KCB. What do you like, mean? Like, no, 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 Swila. Hold on, no, 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 no. Did KCB hold play on, Gore Maya the other day? Listen, even if they beat Gore, we are uh, we're talking about titles here. So beating Thank Gore, is, about beating one Gore is winning yeah? the KPL trophy? You know, KCB, <laughs> I think. KCB is like a team. How do we call it? Is it the, the bride, those ladies who accompany the... The, the bride's flower? Yeah, the, the flower, flower girl. girl. Flower girls. Yeah. Uh, KCB is a flower girl. Where? In the KPL, I agree. KPL, I agree. I think... Because, watch guys, watch watch objectively speaking, nothing against KCB. In the last 10 years... The title has changed hands between two teams. Yeah. Gore. Gore, Gore and Tasca. Uh, yeah. Almost. So, you can almost say Gore and Gore. Are, I'm sorry. They need <laughs> to convince me by challenging and winning the title. The title. Not Probably just challenging. This winning. winning. All right. Zita. I, I think I will speak about Nzoye Ashiga. <laughs> no one is talking about Nzoye Ashiga. That is Kianda's team. Kianda's team. <laughs> yes. Zoya 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 Shuga. They are really displaying a very uh, uh, good game now. Mm. They They draw the well you draw na Tasca now mm -hmm. and Tasca they are I think because the more one alegea, the more they are leaving the title for who Gormaya. Gormaya is taking advantage of these. Not these KCB. Small, not <laughs> <laughs> Gormaya is taking <laughs> advantage of this <laughs> small, small, <laughs> this <laughs> small, small, <laughs> this, this small, small mistake Tasca is making. Yes. And uh, and also uh, Bandari is coming up. Bandari won the game. And um, I know in the mid mid midweek, Gormaya are going to play Safapaka, Tasca, Talanta, FC, Madare, and um, uh, and um, and then FC. They they have to go to play to Bandari. Uh, they're going to to Mombasa in the during the weekend to play Bandari. They'll so, be beaten. The, <laughs> so I think the FC should take advantage of Madari now, and then they they go and draw with Bandari. But speaking of that, it's they, they lack uh, they lack experienced players in their in their in their team. Whereby which team? 
FC Leopards. Proceed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about case. But you guys have experienced players. <laughs> I think they lack uh, experienced players whereby these, they, they, the youth team doesn't know how to handle some games. And it comes a time by in Africa Mali in Awashinda. So for me, they need to, to, to pay the players and start signing the new teams. But so you see, the problem at FC Leopards, I wonder, uh, whether you are a former player, whether you are a former manager, whether you are... Once you take the leadership uh, at the den, then I remember we sat with Shikanda on this set. He promised us heaven on earth. <laughs> uh, is he still the chairman? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. What is happening? What happened to the promises? Can I respond? Yes. You know, FC, there's something that we need also to understand. FC Leopard have been going through some problems that more or less is happening at Gormaya. You know, they are, at a particular time, there are about four or five players who could not play because of some sanction from FIFA. You must understand that a coach... Thanks to poor administration. Yes. Correct. But Thank me, you. I'm looking at the, administ and the technical you. part. Eh? Uh, I'm not looking at the administrative part. I'm but who brings the, in wait, the... No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, my point will, will evaporate. Uh, the, the, the point I mean is that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the coach prepares a team through the mid-season, right. the pre-season, yes. and then five of your players that you had prepared for your pre-season are not featuring for your, for, for your season. And McHugh, Gore and FC Leopards had to play their youth sides. Uh, because they could not sign players. I'm not using that as an excuse, but as much as we are uh, pinning FC Leopards down, okay. we must consider okay. that they could not play. Gormahia and FC Leopards could not sign players, but Gormahia is challenging Tasker, yeah, it has overtaken KCB. So, your, your, your example in this case is not supporting anything uh, to help FC Leopards. No, it's not okay. a man FC Leopard sympathy. All right, let's quickly look at Kenya Cup and then because you need to go to Manchester being red. Very important story, that one. yeah. Very important. All right, uh, Kenya Cup. Uh, um, Sula, take us to Kenya Cup. Uh, we'll have the graphics, but yes. probably that's where now Arocho can... Can and brag. Holds, can, uh, his shoulders no, can yeah, square. That's, that's the only spot. <laughs> no, 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 Sula. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I'm making a mark. These are facts. These are facts. Those are okay, facts. if, if this, this is where I, I excel, please Give you time to... Well. <laughs> but who's doing that? <laughs> What's no. the definition of well? <laughs> please, please, come. He's doing anyway, it. Anyway, <laughs> Kenya Cup give them the credits. They are the no, big lions. Give, what do you mean them? We, we, the KCB. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pronounce it well. They are giants when it comes to, to rugby. KCB yeah. rugby. Rugby Correct. football club. KCB RFC. Correct. They call themselves the Lions. Actually, they are topping the log. Uh, the weekend, I think they were also victorious, if we can have the graphics. But again, my major concern in the Kenya Cup right. is one team called Most. Mm. Masinde Muliro, that's the rugby team. Uh, since they gained promotion to the top division around four or five seasons ago, Actually, they have just been flower girls, as, as I was stating About earlier. Yeah. So they are the replica of KC now. Now, they could, rugby. But now the flower they girls, they are what? Moose. 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 Yeah, but they don't make an impression. You see, uh, at the weekend again, they lost at home, actually. So probably my concern is, you see, if you go to Western, a lot of rugby talent. What happened of Cabras? And probably uh, at university, I, I believe we have a lot of uh, promising youngsters and a lot of, again, talents uh, within uh, the locality. But this team is not really doing well. As we speak, they are at the bottom of the log, the 12 team log. Again, at the weekend, they lost. And probably this is a time that now they need to, 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 to rethink. Because if you look at the other teams, like again, the Catholic monks who are also competing, they are also. Yeah had lots of struggle. You look at uh, Stathmo, lots of struggle. So this is probably a time that uh, these varsity sponsored teams can really be in the top of the division, the second tier, can they compete? And uh, I'm probably looking forward to a time when uh, a university team can win the Kenya Cup rather than having KCB, KCB. and Cabras right. between themselves. You know, he's, he, I, I, like, I like the way Sula comes in. Eh? When in football, when he's talking about football, uh, he doesn't want to, to, to to camouflage or package it with the fact that this is a, an institutional side. But when it goes to rugby, you hear him saying, uh, Swilla, I'm promising you on this show <laughs> that you're not going to call KCB Football Club a, a, flower, a flower girl, girl. again. But they are flower girls. But no, this is on. Yeah. You are not doing it again. They are flower girls. Because title. you had you guys are not doing it again. You had, 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 you
<laughs> you had Zita say that a, a draw that Tasca picked yeah. is giving an advantage to yeah. Gorma here. Can you say this? No. Let's prove us wrong. Oh, so we, we, can you show we shall, us? We shall, we shall, we shall. We are not going to let this happen. See, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, Arocho. A good, a good indication is only way up. It's okay. KCB is not showing us that good indication. We'll be here. You see and the good yeah, yeah, that we are going to be For the benefit here. of doubt, Arocho. But he has always done Sipera, that. Told, he has always promised uh, us we that. We want him because with his links to KCB, next Monday, uh, let uh, who head coach be here. We give them that opportunity. No, no, we don't. You can give us that. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. good. Come, wait. we can talk um, about the tactical Rabur, wait. No, 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 no. challenges. We don't want to expose our coach. I speak. On behalf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'm promising you, Richard, no. you, you are not going to say I think you have been the weakling. <laughs> but that, he's been that, the weakling. Because last season you promised us the but same. But they always talk. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, Rabu, two, top with all due respect. So you have, you have, yes, we your promises wait. has been hot here. We ought to have won the league that season when well, the league was given. decided by a, a tweet. Why you? Wait, wait. Why you leading? Pl no. Why you leading? Why you leading? there. We no, were you, you leading the log when it was okay. decided? You're not going to say that. Okay. So you wanted the league Sarah, to be given number two. <laughs> wait, wait, Swila. Let us go to wait, Europe now. Wait, wait, Swila. You wanted, you wanted the, the league, league to be handed be over to number, number two. We wanted the league to end to conclusively. Conclusion just, in, in, in a pandemic? By that time, you'll be in a pandemic. Number five. Ah, let us proceed. proceed. There were reasons as to why it was handed over to number one. Thank you. Manchester United. Register. I don't know. Come and do one of your clips. You come here. You know that when I chat that you are not.